Hi guys, this is Divyansh and today in this video, uh, we are going to do the review of this Realme Buds Air guys. And uh, I've been using this Realme Buds Air for over 7 to 8 months guys. And this is going to be a long term review guys. So just uh, 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 watch the video till the end because this will be very useful to you if you are going to purchase any true wireless earbuds guys right now. So let's start the review guys uh, so i got this realme wireless buds uh, for about 4000 rupees about seven to eight months ago the pricing is still the same uh, guys so uh, if you want to purchase it just watch the review it will be very helpful for you helpful for you guys uh, so let's start with the review before giving you a review guys i'll be uh, giving you a physical overview of this buds and uh, let's start with that overview so guys coming to the overview these are the uh, this is the box that i got for the realme buds and in the box we have some manual paperwork and this is the usb type c cable that is used for charging the pods so let me keep this to the side guys and uh, let's come to the main buds and these are the main buds guys and uh, they look exactly like airpods guys uh, uh, at the first time you'll see you'll not even recognize what is the difference between the airpods and this realme buds uh, so these uh, are the exact clone for uh, airports and uh, hence you can say that these are the airports for uh, Android guys so guys coming to the physical overview guys on the top, on the bottom you have a USB type C port for charging and the good thing is that guys the charging speeds of the case is generally very good guys also coming to the uh, button guys this is the button that is used for pairing with uh, new smartphones and uh, com coming to the build guys the build quality is also very good uh, it's completely glass guys and it supports wireless charging guys uh, minded that the airpods one did not support wireless charging but this uh, uh, realme bird support wireless charging guys and you and the good thing uh, also a good thing that i noticed with this words are the hinge that is used uh, on the uh, lid is guys generally very good it's very stiff it's not wobbly or something like that so for 4000 rupees the build quality that you get are excellent guys uh, i would say that these are one of the the best build that you can get at a price point of about 4000 now guys coming to the uh, birds guys these are the birds and let me just take them out so so guys these are the birds that you are going to use and uh, I guess as you can see you can see at the stem they have a uh, tiny holes and these are the microphones guys so you can generally take calls with this buds also and the call quality was also good guys and uh, you just uh, keep uh, place them back uh, to charging and while charging uh, uh, guys uh, the light glows in orange color so uh, and you have all uh, this uh, when the charge is full guys uh, this uh, led light glows in green color so guys these are uh, this is the overview of the buds and now let me show you the pairing guys and uh, i'm going to use uh, pair it with my iphone guys and uh, i generally use it with the iphone i also use it with the android phones and uh, the sound signature is almost exactly the same uh, but there are two or three minor niggling cons that i've noticed while using this buds with iphone guys uh, so i'll discuss that later but uh, let me just show you the pairing in order to pair guys you have to just turn the bluetooth on and uh, guys when you just open up the lid uh, and you have to uh, it's it gets automatically connected guys if it's not uh, connected guys you just have to hit the uh, uh, this button uh, the pairing button and you have to hold it for a second or two and uh, when you hold it and you just go to the bluetooth settings of this uh, device and you can just manually pair them but uh, with android guy, uh, guys uh, using the realme link app you can just uh, uh, pair it very seamlessly like uh, you can pair Air airpods with uh, iphones guys so that process of seamless is there guys but that's only for the android phones uh, and also guys uh, overall guys i would uh, say that these are very good and uh, i have divided this review between the pros and cons guys and uh, let's start with the now guys let's come to the review and uh, i hope you enjoyed the overview guys now let's start with the review so guys uh, let me uh, let me just talk about some of the points that i've noticed and uh, guys first uh, i'll talk about the call quality uh, as these are uh, true wireless earbuds guys you can take calls because it has microphones on it and guys regarding uh, 
कॉल क्वालिटी ऑल्सो गाइज द कॉल क्वालिटी वॉज वेरी गुड गाइज द माइक्रोफोन्स वर्क वेरी वेल एंड द कॉल क्वालिटी वॉज वेरी क्लियर टू द अदर पार्टीज ऑल्सो एंड दे ने वर कंप्लेन टू मी इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉल क्वालिटी गाइज ऑल्सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ फिट गाइज दिस वर वेरी कंफर्टेबल एज यू कैन सी इफ आई शुक माई हेड लाइक दिस ऑल्सो दे ने वर यूज टू फॉल सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंफर्ट एंड वेयर इट वर वेरी गुड बट गाइज आई वुड से दैट दिस टाइप ऑफ इयरबर्ड्स आफ्टर समाइम्स दे स्टार्ट टू गेट अनकंफर्टेबल बिकॉज इट रेस्ट ऑन योर इयर्स एंड योर इयर्स स्टार्ट टू pain and my ears starts to pain guys because uh, so these are not the most comfortable for me but it is good so guys in terms of comfort also uh, i was satisfied guys now coming to the bluetooth range guys the bluetooth range of this bluetooth earphone is very average guys if i am in this room guys and if i move to the next room also the, the i hear that uh, i hear the crackling of sound guys so the bluetooth range is very average guys uh, but guys one thing i have noticed uh, is that previously when i got this buds guys the bluetooth range were very good and uh, after the uh, after some times the bluetooth range start to deteriorate, uh, deteriorate i don't know the reason why it's happening guys but uh, i have noticed the same so in terms of bluetooth range uh, it's very average guys now guys coming to the uh, latency guys latency what we call low latency it has a low latency mode guys and you can invoke it by just uh, holding uh, pressing and holding on the earbuds on both the side you start hearing a engine noise and then it enters the low latency mode and even in the low latency mode guys i was able to notice some minor lag in uh, videos like lip syncing issues and uh, also guys uh, in gaming also i could notice it i did not play very heavy games but in small games also guys i could notice the latency i don't know what are the claims of this buds and uh, how good uh, these uh, buds are up to that uh but i could notice the latency issues in that guys now coming to the sound quality guys the sound quality is surprisingly good for the price guys this cost about 4000 rupees and for 4000 rupees the sound quality is uh, good guys uh let's divide it into four parts guys in terms of bass there is bass guys but it's not very excessive bass it's a balanced bass that most people will like and i personally like the bass what this delivered to my ears guys it's very balanced it is uh, when it's required it comes and then it goes so in terms of bass guys uh, i was satisfied also coming to the mid tones and vocals guys the vocals were very clear on this uh, earbuds i did not expect this level of clear uh, clearness on vocals uh, on this uh, in on this budget oriented tws guys so the vocals and mid tone frequencies were also very good the genres were also good on this not i would not say that it was spectacular but it was good regarding the price point also in terms of treble uh, and high tones guys the high tones and treble were produced very good guys i was satisfied with the high tones and trebles uh, trebles uh, which this earphones provided to me so in that case guys but uh, i have one con guys in terms of loudness is it's not that loud most of the time i used to hear it uh, wear it and hear it at a volume of about 95 to 100% so in terms of loudness uh, they could have been better uh but uh, uh, they are not uh, they could have been better but they are good but they could have been better so guys overall if in terms of sound if i have to rate this earbuds i would rate it 8.5 out of 10 that 1.5 marks uh, guys i'm cutting just because due to the loudness guys i did uh, i simply did not like the amount of loudness that this uh, earbuds has so guys this was about the sound quality now coming to the pros and cons guys the thing that i notice are good and bad coming to the pros guys the build quality is very good guys for the price you get a uh, a uh, glass uh, glass build you also you also get a usb type c port for charging and the charging speeds are also very good guys so these are some of the things that i like also a thing that i like is guys uh, the hinge is very uh, 
uh, stiff guys it's not flimsy that uh, we used to see in mid-range or a very budget oriented TWS so the build quality is very good guys also in terms of connectivity it was fine it never gave me any kind of issue and it connects very seamlessly uh, so guys these are some of the pros also guys it has a wireless charging you have to note that because guys uh, if you have a wireless charger or you have any smartphone supporting reverse wireless charging you can charge this earbuds using the same so this is in terms of features and functionality it has all the things uh, that a regular person might require guys now coming to the cons guys the first con is the battery life the battery life is hilariously bad on this uh, realme uh, earbuds uh, over the period of time it has deteriorated to worse guys i would say like that when i got this i used to get a battery life of about a uh, two and a half to uh, three hours while uh, using it in media playback but in terms of call then it was just about one to one and a half hours guys the when i don't know why it is so but when you're taking calls the battery life used to uh, tank down very fastly when compared to when we're using it uh, in media playback so guys this is one of the point that you need to note about this realme wireless earbuds guys so in terms of uh, so while calling the battery tanks down very fastly but in terms of uh, media playback it can give you a better life about two to two and a half hours guys but now the situation is very very worse guys now hardly i'm getting about one and a half to two hours of battery life uh, when i'm using it in media playback and while taking calls guys it does not even last me for an hour the situation has gone so worse with this bluetooth earphones that i am very very fed up of bluetooth earphones and now uh, purchasing this has made me spe uh, skeptical of purchasing any other TWS solutions i really like them because guys there is no wires so it's very comfortable uh, for uh, for wearing and uh, for working out and all that stuff but i am go i have gone very very skeptical guys i was about to purchase the samsung buds live uh, because i really wanted to test that out but i am very very skeptical about uh, should i purchase it or not just because uh, seeing the condition what has happened with this so guys uh, that is one of the most major con uh, that uh, I would say it in front of you over the period of time the battery life will deteriorate and go to the worst condition possible also guys in terms of latency I could not notice uh, that uh, that uh, high claims of latency uh, latency and all guys this still gives me lip syncing issues and I could notice that so in terms of latency also guys I would feel these are not good uh, guys, I have posted a video of about uh, my OnePlus Wireless C Bluetooth earphones. Those have very good latency. Uh, they also have latency, but guys, they are very minor, uh, very minor, like uh, 10, 100 to uh, 90 milliseconds, like that. They are, they were good in terms of latency, but these are not that good. Uh, also, guys, in terms of uh, uh, battery life, as I said. The battery life was incredibly worse on this now it has got even worse so if you're going to purchase it now uh, make sure and keep that in your mind that it will work fine for just about uh, four to five months and then you have uh, you're going to be fed up of that if you're a person like that then you can seriously buy this or otherwise i would uh, say don't buy this earphones at any cost guys yes the music one thing that i like is that the music quality that i got from this earbuds were very good but guys simply for listening to music you are not a type of a person that you are going to get a 4000 rupees TWS not just for music but uh, in terms of other fu functionalities like battery and uh, guys uh, uh, loudness and so, uh, things like that these are very big guys so this is my review of the realme buds air uh, when i got it guys i felt it was good but now i feel these are very average kind of earbuds and i would suggest you not to buy these earphones uh, earbuds guys because you have a lot of new earbuds right now uh, when compared to 
this one so this is my review of the one uh, 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 realme wireless buds guys i hope you like the review and guys i have posted many reviews of uh, smartphones and earbuds i i'll provide a link to my channel in the description you can j just go there and check them out guys it uh, i'll be very grateful to you for the same so guys uh, let's keep it up uh, let's wrap it up for this video and uh, guys i hope to see you in my next video if you like my video do hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that bell notification uh, bell guys uh, uh, because you'll not be aware of when i'm posting the videos or not so uh, do hit the bell notification uh, uh, icon and also follow me on uh, twitter and instagram guys for more updates there i post frequently asking questions about your experience and something like that and i'm also planning something new to start guys in this youtube channel i hope you like it so stay subscribed and or if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel guys so that's it for now guys and uh, i hope to see you in my next video take care guys